What's going on YouTube? This is Pee Wee 23 here, and I'm going to be doing something uh, a little bit different. This is going to be a playthrough of a very enjoyable game. I actually played through it twice already in the last month, <laughs> but this has got one of the most incredible stories to it, and I wanted y'all to enjoy it too. If you want to actually play this for yourself, it's for sale on freebirdgames.com for like 10 or $11. This is an indie video game. I, I heard it was made on RPG Maker. I could be wrong, but this is definitely probably the best story I've uh, played in the last five or shoot, maybe even 10 years. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to just play through this and I'm going to let you all read it because I've already tried uh, about four different times reading it and I just felt like it was ruining the story and whenever I'm wandering around then I'll give you uh, some commentary or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this started. I hope you all enjoy it. And at the end of the video, please leave comments below. Let me know what you think. Maybe uh, uh, any ideas. Because I've never done this before. And actually, I've barely watched any Let's Plays. But, alright. Here we go. That is one thing I'll say. The music in this really makes the game probably the best soundtrack I've also heard in about the last five years. So, grab equipment. Now, this was a game I was actually watching uh, Return to Mother Base. He was doing his top 12 video games of 2012. And this was his number one. <laughs> don't mean to ruin it for anyone who hasn't seen the video, but I had actually never heard of this game. It's, I don't know, I've been kind of out of the YouTube community, not re really uh, interacting much lately, and there's really no excuse other than pure laziness and playing video games. Um, but you can't blame me. I love playing video games, so... As you can tell, this is a point-and-click game, so that's why the mouse is always going to be right in your face. So 
see I can either push it by hand, find a branch, or abort mission and go home. Uh, I've never actually clicked this one, so let's see what it does. You know, and this was actually a, I've never actually played a video game like this, which it was just basically reading like an interactive movie, uh, you know, kind of like 999, and I've never played those. I've always been more of a traditional JRPG, or uh, I'm starting to get into Western RPGs a little bit more, but uh, this one, I never expected this to be as good as it is. Act 1, I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Oh yeah, my bad. So I guess that Lily we just met, that's the caretaker. And her kids just ran through.
Now this is my favorite song of the game. And of course it just happens to be the theme song. Okay, so I get to choose. I'm gonna play as Dr. Watts. Okay, so basically they just, like, set up this machine that, like, I guess grants dying people's witches or something. So, 
And of course, that's Johnny up here laying in the bed. And just like any RPG, you can search around in houses and, you know, there's little things like this, a painting of a woman holding something blue and yellow, yellow and blue, with big balls. <laughs> All right. And that. Now this is about a, I'm going to try to beat this game in about four hours or so. Obviously I'm going to be breaking it up in parts, um, like maybe 20 minute parts. I don't know, I, I don't really have a timer set or anything, so when I feel like it's around 20 minutes, I'll cut it off and maybe put one part a day or two parts a day, I don't know. This first day I'll only put one part. Come back here for a moment. Okay, so I just got a heart monitor, which is this. Um, I don't know why it's really used. This music kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger, like the trial scene. Okay. The kitchen door is right by some stairs. I see four flights of stairs. But we'll check this one. I was right, mainly because I've already recorded this about four times <laughs> before this copy. After I finally stopped reading, like all the voices, man, it was it was pretty horrible. It was gonna definitely ruin the story.
Okay, so supposedly there's a funny room in the basement, so I've got to hunt down this key. This room's in the book room. This is the book room. That's why I hate sometimes you'll like click and it won't walk all the way where you're trying to go to. That's one little gripe about this game, but it's not. That's what I was thinking. I'm not one of those RPG players that actually reads every single book in a library and stuff. Actually kind of drives me nuts. Let's go check out this uh, creepy room in the basement. Or funny room. Alright guys, I think this is a good spot for me to finish this first part. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is definitely something new, something I'm not used to doing. So please leave a comment down below and look forward to part two coming out probably within the next day or so. So thanks for watching guys. This is Pee Wee 23 signing out.